This video will walk through troubleshooting to identify common causes of air loss. Slight fluctuations in the firmness of the bed can be caused by changes in air pressure or temperature. For most beds, hose connections are accessed by opening the bed. Some of our mattresses come with hose extensions which allow you to access the hose connections without opening the bed. First, unzip the removable cover. The zipper is located at the head of the bed. Unzip the cover all the way around your bed to remove it. Some of our beds come with a duvet style cover and have two zippers to access the top and bottom parts of the mattress. The top zipper accesses the foam comfort pad and the lower zipper accesses the air chambers and other bed components. Some beds may have a hidden zipper under the edge of the mattress or under the fabric ticking around the bed. This zipper can be located just below the bed label. It will look different inside the bed based on what series or model of bed you have. Every sleep number bed has air chambers and a firmness control system. Some beds may or may not have a foam comfort pad. If your bed has a foam comfort pad visible when you open it, remove the foam comfort pad and set it aside. Handle the foam carefully to avoid damaging or tearing. Memory foam beds have an inner cover panel under the memory foam support layer. Unzip and remove the inner cover panel to access the rest of the bed. The air system connections are located at the head of the bed. Air loss can be caused by a leak in the air chamber, the firmness control system, or the air system connections. Now we'll determine the source of air loss. First, verify the hose connection is secure by gently tugging on the hose. You will do swapping troubleshooting if you have a bed with two air chambers and are only experiencing air loss on one side of the bed. If you have hose extensions, you do not need to open the bed to perform swapping troubleshooting. Disconnect the hoses on each side of the bed by pushing in the gray tab while simultaneously pulling to remove. While the hoses are disconnected, examine the connections for any visible signs of damage and verify that the black O-rings are present and in good condition. Air chambers sold before October 2011 should have one O-ring. Air chambers sold after October 2011 should have two O-rings. All hose extensions should have two black O-rings on the end of the hose extensions. Reconnect each hose to the opposite air chamber by fitting the hose over the nozzle of the air chamber and pushing until you feel a click. Gently tug to ensure that the connections are secure. After swapping the hoses, reassemble your bed by replacing the head wall and foam comfort pad. If your bed has a border wrap, position it over the foam comfort pad, then place the top panel of the mattress cover back on the bed and zip to close the mattress. Right and left on your remote will be reversed after swapping the hoses. Sleep on the bed for a few nights or until you notice air loss again. If air loss is experienced again on the same side of the bed, the leak is in the air chamber. If it is on the opposite side, there is a leak in the firmness control system. Contact customer service to order your replacement part. If neither chamber feels softer over time, you may have had a loose connection that was fixed when the hoses were switched. Switch the hoses back to their correct positions and continue to use the bed as usual.